by invitation of the Family Violence Prevention Center up here in Xenia. And this is Debbie who represents the organization and I want to thank you for inviting the Cassie Project up. Oh, you're welcome. We're glad to have you. I'm, I'm really excited because this is the first time that we've had an opportunity to actually reach out to reformed abusers. I mean, you know, the project is about survivors of sexual and domestic violence. However, I believe a huge part of healing is for us to hear from, you know, both sides of, you know, the, the situation and, and to know that we need to, re well, the survivors need to release you know, to know that it wasn't our fault that we were abused and to hear from someone on the other side of that situation is gravely important. Tell me about your organization. Well, our organization is um, really dedicated to making sure that we're able to help both the women and the men who are involved with family violence. Helping survivors is very important, but also reaching out to those who have perpetrated the violence um, to help them change the way that they think um, to explore other options, um, alternatives to violence, and changing their expectations uh, in their relationships and looking at personal responsibility. How huge is the um, participation, I should say? Because a lot of times, you know, I've, I've been in situations with, um, I'm a survivor as well, and I've been in situations with men who will never admit, I didn't really hit you, I just kind of like pushed you really hard, or you know what I mean, it's not my fault you got a bruise, or this, that, and the other. How much participation or eagerness do you have from the perpetrators to be a part of your program? Mm. Well, most of them are court ordered into our program, so there's a little bit of motivation coming um, from another source. But that's okay, we can work with that. And um, we see over the first three or four weeks the anger kind of um, melt away um, and a process of engaging to come behind that. Well, if I'm going to be in this class, I might as well learn something. What can I learn? What value is there in me thinking about living life a little differently? And so, um, though they're required, um, there is opportunity for change, even in court ordering. And you've had a, a really good turnover, is that correct? I mean, you know, those who come in, your, your graduation percentile of successful um, graduates from the program are pretty high. What's your percentage? Ooh, that is a really good question. And off the top, I cannot tell you the answer. We well, log onto the website to find out. It's probably there. Yes, yes. Statistical information is there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what is your website? Our website is violencefreefutures.org. Well, there you have it, and thank you again for inviting us up to Xenia for this fabulous uh, vigil. Tell me about the event. Why are we here? Mm. Well, tonight, um, to wrap up First Friday's uh, festival here in Xenia, we're going to have a balloon glow walk. And that balloon glow walk really is um, to kind of commemorate um, the experiences that survivors have had and to um, bring awareness in the community. And so we're here partnering with the Xenia Police Department, which we can hear in the background. I'm like, oh, oh, am I in trouble? Okay. Well, that's all a wonderful cause, and I'm so glad that the Cassie Project could be a part of it. So, and I, I'm, we have an abuser who's going to sit right here on the couch with me and talk about his experience. Is that right? That's correct. I'm so excited. All right. More from On the Couch with Chris the Cassie Project.